Everybody can create a cube in Blender, don't ask me. And simply slap to this cube this shader that I just created for you. And congratulations, you got yourself a complete fire setup for you. And it's including the fire, it's including the smoke, it's including especially the entire animations already happening only in the shader. There is no keyframes, there is no simulation, there is not any bake, or not any cache, not any frustrating process with volumes. It's just a cube with a shader. All of this comes together also with another cool shader that you can simply slap on another mesh, that is the heat distortion. So for the heat distortion in the air, it's very very cool. I'm gonna create an icosphere like this with, uh, I suggest, a level, a subdivision of a tree. And I'm gonna scale this icosphere. It should cover the entire cube of the fire like this a little bit. And right click and shade smooth. And now simply take the heat distortion shader and slap it like that. Barn for me, baby, you get this distortion all in real time because this is all procedural, all happening in shaders. It's very simple, it's all happening here in just one single shader. Also, the distortion includes already the animation. You can make the distortion faster, you can make it slower. You can see the shader is very simple, it's just one note, but is actually very complex. A lot of work went into this and I am actually very happy to share all of this with you. Consider joining my Patreon to download these two assets and also watching all my tutorials and stuff. I'm gonna play a little bit with the options now. We are in cycles, so let's start from the fire. I'm gonna select the cube of the fire, so we can have more fire if we tweak the give me more option here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stick with 1000 to give me more value. Make it better is useful when you want to break more of the shape, basically. is basically the lacunarity of the texture. Uh, the vertical speed is the directional speed of the fire going up. Let's see, the flame dance speed is how much the fire changes the shape during time, basically, you can see. I would suggest to put the vertical speed very low to have a cool slow motion effect. By the way, you can play with all these settings by yourself. Power randomization is basically, if you want a more constant power, you can decrease this value. Fire height is basically, you can see if I decrease it or increase it. By the way, if you want more fire, you can even edit the shape. So by consequence, because I have scaled this cube, I'm gonna adjust the stretch. I have provided these options for you, so I'm gonna adjust the stretching on the Z axis. Also, because we want more smoke, probably I'm gonna try to increase the density to 20 thousand and uh, we can increase or decrease the height and so you have plenty of um, controls on how you want to customize this fire when you start to see this stretched texture in the distortion you selected the distortion object so you just try to tweak it until you like it also the scale i would suggest uh, i would suggest a bigger wave texture distortion which is more realistic if you want a faster preview you can press numpad slash to isolate only the object that you want to see like so here i want to isolate the fire and now you can see that the animation preview is going faster by the way the quality during the animation is very low instead when you pause the animation you can see the quality is really really high in these flames i'm gonna i'm gonna exaggerate this fire now because i want to show you yeah don't exaggerate with the give me more options otherwise you are gonna see uh, the borders of the mask that are gonna destroy the effect and it's also a good idea in the render properties to decrease the exposure of the entire scene in order to get this awesome lord of the rings style of flames look at this you have all the details that you want in these flames and you are never gonna lose any quality you can zoom inside these flames as much as you want i'm gonna go in the life path under volume i'm gonna increase this to four because we are working with volumes of course rotate the cube a little bit in order to have a little bit of wind effect if you want now let's see how it works for eevee if you want to work uh, with eevee which i don't suggest by the way because the quality will drop down a little bit but you can do it render engine eevee so basically we will start to see that uh, the fire disappear in the center that is kind of a black hole don't worry just select the uh, distortion mesh and in the shader you can see that i have provided a simple slider if you want to use eevee just take the slider and put it on zero 
and the fire is back. And uh, now we simply need to activate a bunch of options in the render properties of Eevee. So starting from, you know, the samples, uh, activate the bloom, yeah, increase the intensity, good idea. Activate the screen space, uh, reflections, and also most importantly, the refraction. And now finally we can see the distortion happening in real time in Eevee. We can also increase the distortion speed if we want. Yeah, the thing is that on Eevee you are gonna need to put different settings in the distortion because it works differently. I'm gonna go under volumetrics and the tile size, put it on the minimum if your computer can handle it. You probably will need to tweak the distance of the samples distribution basing on your point of view, increasing the samples to the maximum, increasing also the distribution. And anyway, how cool is that that you can simply switch a slider to the side to use Cycles or Eevee? <laughs> I had to do this because this shader was looking completely different um, from Eevee to Cycles. Uh, by the way, one thing about Eevee is that the fire is not emitting light so you're gonna need to add an additional light and probably in the settings on the light you are gonna need to you know fake the light of the fire by the way this additional light is not requested for cycles because cycles has all the diffuse light that you need you don't have to go inside the sphere of the distortion otherwise i believe that you're not gonna see the distortion i'm gonna go back to cycles and have a little bit of fun so let's suppose that we want to burn this house now. So very easy. You simply take this cube and uh, basically you adjust the size and the rotation on the house until uh, it covers pretty much the shape of the house. The height should be a little bit... You can exaggerate the, the height so that you can have more space for the smoke. The icosphere for the distortion should be half above the ground and half below the ground. Because if you look as a sphere like that probably is not gonna work the, the illusion of the distortion okay this is more or less cool i'm gonna try to decrease now the settings of the fire so we are having a big fire now so in the shader i try to increase the scale and see what happens yeah um i'm starting to see the mask and so i try to break the shape using the make it better function if you hold the shift you have a more precise tweaking on this value and uh, yeah Look at that. Actually, I forgot we are in cycles and so I have to switch this uh, distortion to cycles. And now it's properly working. Decrease the scale because it's different from EV. Probably have to increase the size a little bit because it's not showing in the front. Um, another good idea is to turn off the shadows for the distortion mesh. So in the object properties, visibility and turn off the shadow. Sometimes the borders of the cube, sometimes, for example, here you can see this corner. So in the object properties of the cube, I'm gonna turn off the shadow as well. And this problem is finally fixed. And also another idea if you want a faster response is to decrease the size of the render window. Like the smaller it is and the faster is gonna be the playback. You can have as many copies as you want and this is automatically changing the shape every time you duplicate it. Anyway, and another thing to do if we want to control this shader only for a specific object, you have to go in the shader options and make this a unique copy so that now you can control the settings only for this specific fire so yeah you have plenty of options to play with you have a lot of potential with these two assets uh, by the way you can download these two shaders from my Patreon. i leave you the link in the description if you want to join not only you can download all my assets but also you can uh, watch all the tutorials that i post there about visual effects and stuff so yeah that's it and uh, thanks for watching i think i'm gonna make a lot of stuff with this